Happy Street. What are you reading? Crap. Who's it by? Danny Ritchie. And looking around at the different dolls, I see dolls that remind me of people. Oh. <laughs> Do you have a favourite? Oh, I have a few favourites here. Yes, yes. Which is one of she's your favourites? She's one of my favourites, that one there. And so the she's one. made out of... Um, she's just fabric, all fabric. And the eyes are beautiful. Yeah, painted on. Painted eyes, painted mouth. Beautiful. And Wow. Lord. <laughs> now you've got a magician over mm -hmm. here. We have a magician and his hair is a fur fabric. That's what that is. And another fairy. Mm -hmm. And all these beautiful period costume dolls. Old mother fairy godmother over there in the yellow. <laughs> She's beautiful. And dolly hats. Nice on the dolls. They're all handmade, those ones. She's a hand molded one. And see, they have, they all have such personality. Look at mm -hmm. the personality. It's like, yeah, beautiful. And over here we have a little clown. Mm -hmm. And you've mm -hmm. painted the backdrop? I have painted the backdrop, yes. Beautiful, yes. See, it's more than a shop. It's a gallery in a mm -hmm. it fine does. arts. And over here we have these little... These little dollies are all made out of calico, the ones that you see on the bottom shelf. And they're just my calico ladies. And then you've got the boots. And the boots, yes. yes. And the hats, top hats. So... The mermaid on the top. <laughs> so Judy, I'd say you're a, you have a very romantic soul. Mm, thank you. <laughs> and here you make things from scraps and yeah, any scraps that I can find that I yes that I need. Yes. Well, it's just beautiful. And it's a pleasure being here in your shop. Thank, thank you very much. much. And I want to buy something. And these dollies here are to put your pajamas in. A pajama bag. You put your pajamas in the bag and hang them on the door. A little girl would love that. Mm. Yeah. What's this one here? What's this? This one here. She's just a little red fairy, and she's all made of fabric. And she's just a little fairy. That's all. She's got a wicked, a yeah, touch of wickedness in her eye. She has. Isn't she? <laughs> Were you feeling wicked while you made yeah. her? I think I must have been. Yeah. <laughs> you, go. you look Calican, gorgeous. Calican hats. <laughs> okay. And you wouldn't get skin cancer wearing one of them. No, you would not. Keep you there, you wouldn't even get a sunburnt nose. It does <laughs> keep her ears apart. So <laughs> and, I throw it on. And then you get a duck. A swan. A swan, sorry. So that's, that's for Sydney swan, swan supporters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And then we have a duck and we have a teddy bear. And, and you make duck. these all yourself? These are all hand, yes. Oh. The hats actually I bought and I covered them. Okay. The fabric. They're so clever. <laughs> He's gorgeous. He is a lot, isn't he? Mm. Okay, I'll... Right, Judith, uh, as old as she might be or as young as she might be, she always says she will not grow up as long as she can play with a doll. <laughs> and that's what she's doing. And you two have been married for how long now? 46 years. <laughs> 46 years of wedded. <laughs> <laughs> Your <word>. turn. Bliss. <laughs> I can't 
much like that. It's been very, it's been very wonderful, and we hope to have a lot more. Oh well, I wish you a lot more too. I think Thank you'll you. be cool. Oh, you. well, why not? So you've got to be each other's best friend, haven't you? Yeah, oh, you yeah, to. that that's yeah. part of it. Yeah. yeah, and I was researching relationships, and my wise woman friend Irene Coates said to me that there's a strange thing happens, like one person will have a really hard time, mm -hmm. so they need their best friend to hold their hand yeah. to get them through the hard time. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Most definitely. And it ain't easy. <laughs> you, keep, you, you give each other space as well. Yeah. And that's what we've found, you know. All right, Jude does the dolls and that. I go to me 40 and that sort of thing. And yeah. Enjoy life. So you're individ total individuals mm -hmm. yes. within a very close relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very close. And so you give the other person freedom to be themselves. Yep. That's right. Yeah. So I think that might be a really good tip as well. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Any more tips? No. Any more tips? <laughs> Live life to the fullest, that's for sure. Yeah. Enjoy it. And I've enjoyed it, especially last year, because Sydney won the Premiership. <laughs> <laughs>
it's temporary yet to be properly explored, and it probably never will be, certainly not in our lifespan. Commercial quantity is not really being available now. The Germans had a crack at it. They'd uh, collect all the sawdust from around the mills in the town. This is the last surviving of six that used to be around the waterfront here. And the one over at Brisby there, well, they had a distillery there near it, and they, they would collect all the sawdust, take to that distillery, make the oil up, methyl fusion oil. And this oil in all sorts of plants, but in, mess, in uh, human pine, it's in abundance. Not pretty human pine. Pass these samples around, I'll chuck them out for you. They'd send that oil off to Germany, they're making an ulcer cure. Uh, various other things going on with it. Pretty German tea, you look a bit German, Santa. Out of class. Outbreak of World War II put a stop to that. No one's really gone back with that uh, caper. But it's a toothache, got a toothache, put a bit of human pine on it. Looks better clothes. Stick it in your linen closet. Some of these shavings. Or the sawdust. Keep the silver fish at bay. Works better than naphthalene, easy to smell. Put it in the ashtray of your car. Makes it smell beautiful. Maybe not if you're a smoker, might go up. Because it's real flammable. And this oil that's responsible for all this, the metal fusion oil, well it sinks. It's weirder and weirder, isn't it? She grows real slow, hence the fine grain. Are oh, you a city bloke like me? You'll probably have seen thousands today, but there's one about a contest. Zoom in on that one. See that by the white fence beyond the bluish car there? That's a human pine on the right, isn't it? Now that's only a young one. You get all these grand ideas about human pine. I reckon that overall it's quite disappointing when you see them, aren't they? Come on, it's a beautiful river, but what a ratty looking tree. Yeah. yeah. We want to show a real big one. Well, they're a different sort of thing altogether, aren't they? These are like version one of the rainforest, you know? They, they do make them different now. That one over there, 12 years. So not very long to get a tree up sort of over that line. But they only grow in girth or width, as you probably learned from up the river today. Only one to three mil a year. So it takes a long time to get a big fat log that's worthy of uh, milling up, making a boat out of what have you. Now the blokes called the Piners, that you may have heard a bit about today, these are the legendary generation of men. Now don't go sniffing that, hey, yeah, yeah, you over there. <laughs> now listen, don't go sniffing or licking any bowls in souvenir shops and all you smell out of that bunker wood there is the sweaty palms of a million tourists. <laughs> if you want to smell it, you've got to come and get a wet bit. Come up to the shovel here, pass a handful along this lady here, she's yeah. desperate. That's just had a bit of polish on it, it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> Don't smell it. And if you do buy a sample of the tips of the day, you want to impress your friends back home. Well, if you leave it on the back porch, it's all going to dry off over the time, isn't it? The oil will recede from the outside, it's just going to all go grey. Or if you varnish it off, it's not going to smell then. So don't go licking any bowls and serving shops. It doesn't work like that. Get your knife out, get your axe out, wake into it, have a taste of it. I'm not supposed to have you this, just stick it in your gob. <laughs> Now today is coming up towards the end of a, another cut today. This isn't just a tourist operation, I'd like to point out. This is a real working mill. And if you're building a house here, a boat or what have you, this is where you've got to come. And the, the, uh, what we're doing for you, well, that's just because you're lucky. And also I congratulate you for sticking out this long. You notice all the tourists have given us a shake now. You're what we call the travellers. Over the roof of this pretty good fast grower. It's down here anyway. Red myrtle, myrtle, beautiful fine grain by mate Kimmy, he works in strong woodworks in there, on the turning machine, he loves this. Have a look in there if you want to see what happens to these timbers, downstream yeah, process if you like the craft then. Everything in there from a wooden spoon to a dinghy. The best that be souvenir anywhere in Tasmania, I reckon, yeah, probably a uh, breadboard from right here. Now, uh, my ear tells me something's gone on, snow's flicked through the neutral if you like. We'll come back to those timbers, but if you've got a camera, wind it. This is the bit. Now look at this, he's reversing. Oi! I did say I'd say oi, but I don't know what else you want. Come back if you want to see the good bit. He's reversed the blade back down to this log now. The point of this, imagine a monster on here, 15 metre log with a huge diameter. You're not going to blast straight to the end and bugger up the end of your nice log, are you? You know when you cut stuff at home, you turn it over, don't you? Well, this is the idea of this. Back the blade out and we'll... We'll tap him over for the axe. There's no well, I'm not going near it. Now watch this, you keep, keep, your, keep your eye on the man here, wax the, the wedge in there. I don't know what that's about, 
but it shuts the whole bloody thing up. <laughs> Off goes the electric motor. This uh, little uh, saw, vertical frame saw, or breaking down saw as it's known, as it is known as. And it was originally uh, powered by a steam engine in its original location. The, the saw itself is 100 year old, but this mill is only 80, so it came over second hand and switched to electric then. Now, Snow does talk too, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him a chance. This is Strawn's Russell Crowe. Hey. You want to see the ship that never was, starring Russell? From Strawn, yes. be there shortly. Right, thanks, thanks Dad, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> you came last night, you were in the back row, weren't you? I was. Didn't help you though, did it? I was the, I was the <laughs> sick one. That's right. I've been working here a bit too long now. I feel like crit in the snow. I'm about to say things like, oh, "Did you stop? Did you go? Uh, didn't you go far enough today?" Snow? <laughs> 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 Just some work. Hey, the reward, of course, is sticking it out. Oh, you want to pass it on? Look at it. That's right. That old child, that's why we just dish out to the tourists now. Aha. Look at that. Yeah. This is wet stuff straight from the log, obviously. So the puppies that I've been barking on about, they're going to become so much, uh, so much more, uh, so more obvious. Mm -hmm. So it's now day four of Come Holiday with Ray and we're now at Waratah and there's a waterfall. It's a bit chilly. My name is Lorraine Gardner. Ray and I retired at 55 and we've done a few trips around Australia. We've been over to Western Australia and this is our first trip to Tasmania. I've been here for? For um, eight and a half weeks and uh, we, we're going home on the 8th of uh, April. And where do you live? Uh, North Richmond, New South Wales. And do you recommend being a nomad? Well, we don't class ourselves as a nomad really because we do have a house. <laughs> the, the ones that class themselves more as the nomads, they, they don't have houses. Oh. And they just travel around Australia all the time. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I'm, I'm researching it. Because some people have been on the road for... Um, for years. Yeah, we met one bloke the other day who was on the road for um, seven years. Sold his house and just travelling around. So that was in Strawn about two, two or three days ago. Wow. But we, we don't, you know, we really don't class ourselves as nomads because we've got our, our daughter and son in law that mind our place when we're away. And um, yeah, we, you know, so. So you got the best of both worlds? Well, yeah, you might say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, when we say we're going away, they say, when are you going? <laughs> <laughs> so, you yeah. know, we, we don't have a problem with that. 
Bedford. So. Yeah. And after we finished here, I think we're home for, what, about three or four weeks? And then we go off to Alice Springs then. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, because our caravan club have got a rally there, so we're going to do that. And how do you like Waratah? It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous little place. Very tidy, isn't it? Very tidy. Every, I think they must mow the grass 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> and did you come down on the... You must have come on the Spirit of Tasmania. Yes. How did yeah. you like the trip? Fantastic. Did you have rocky weather? No. Smooth as anything. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Was great. We, we got the Sydney boat and uh, no, it was really, really good. And we were actually the last caravan on, so we didn't even have to worry about someone behind us getting off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, it was great. Oh, yeah. Well, thank, thank you for that. That's so, if you're going to be a nomad, go. this is a really good yeah, book yeah. to have. Yeah. 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 See, Reese Dam, yeah. parking area, 44 kilometres northwest of Zeehan or 58 kilometres west of Tulla, it's a 24 hour stop and you can have your dog. Okay. Yeah. But there's no other facilities there's there. There's no other facilities there, yeah. but this tells you all the facilities. And that, that's the cover of it there. Okay, so this would be a really good thing Oh have. yeah, this is what you'll, this is the, the latest edition of You find everyone's got them. Yeah, it just, everyone drives by these. I see a lot of people reading maps. Yeah, and then we've also got one here. That's the snapshot part of it. And that'll also give you a picture of it. You see, not all of them, but some of them have pictures, you know, of it too. So, see, when you look at Tasmania, see, it'll give you a rough idea of what you're looking at. See? Wow. You know, like, um, some of them have, have, I don't know if 177 has got it, but if they say, when you look at the code in here, if it says it's got a, um, oh, see how it's got a camera? Yeah. Well, you know that that one then is in this book. Okay, so say it's Scrubby Creek Hotel. Yeah. And you go across here, it has... Yeah. It's got, you've got um, toilets, you've got shower, water, there's trees, a barbecue. It's going to cost you money because it's a, a hotel. There's power, mobile phone, a, you can have your dog and it's okay for large vehicles and you've got a picture of it in your photo book. Oh, wow. You see? So that one is 707. You enjoy the meal. So if you look at yeah. 707 and once you go here, through the ocean there, the Hell's Gate, there we go. There's that. 707, Sarah Scrubby Island Creek Hotel, sure. and oh. that's roughly what it looks like. That's good. Wow. Yeah. So when did when did you say you go home again? Um, we leave um, on the 8th of um, April. Oh, wow. We go home on the boat. Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you for sharing those thoughts. No, it's a pleasure. <laughs> you have a lovely time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The rainbows are about 8 to 10 pounds in here. If you can pull one out, you'd do pretty well. <laughs> no, no, no. You just play here. No, I'm just a, I'm a fisherman. I'm an angler, a oh. tri yeah, fly fisherman. Oh, crikey! <laughs> pull him in! Pull him in! <laughs> you can make the water boil. <laughs>